Hey, what's up y'all? My name is David and my goal on this channel is to educate you on your fishing journey. If you want to learn how to catch more fish, stick around. That's what we're talking about today. Let's get it. Alright, so what we're going to be talking about is barometric pressure. This last weekend I, uh, I went fishing up to Henry's, which is a high alpine lake here in Idaho. And we went up on Saturday, got there about 6 o'clock in the morning. I had done my research, uh, I saw that on Tuesday, the following Tuesday, it was going to be a storm coming in, and so I was looking at the barometric pressure, uh, and it was going to be 30.85 on Saturday, and start declining all the way till Tuesday. Monday night, it, would, it was supposed to get down to about 29, the barometric pressure. Uh, this is something that I've studied for uh, the last two years, and... Uh, experimented with and I always find that on days that I fish when the barometric pressure is 30 plus I always catch a lot more fish and do a lot better it was a clear sunny day but with that storm moving in <clears throat> it caused the barometric pressure to be higher with a low front coming in and the fish were biting and feeding good it was a good day uh, check it out we caught a brook trout, a cutthroat, and a cut bow that was 27 inches all before 10 o'clock in the morning, which that's all three species out of that lake. So it was a good morning. So about 11 o'clock, then the, the bite died off and we ended up, we weren't getting any more bites. And so we sat there, we made some hot cocoa and we were thinking about packing it in, but luckily we decided to stay and this is another tip for you. When the bite dies off, you might you might just try staying a couple times because sometimes you never know what's going to happen. So later on that day, uh, about two o'clock, I ended up catching a big old cut bow or cutthroat about 25 inches, and then uh, not even 20 minutes later, I catch a another cut bow that was about 26 inches. The video will be linked down in the description if you want to check it out. But I just want to tell you, whenever the bite dies off, you might just stick around and see what happens. Alright, so back to barometric pressure. So, whenever the barometric pressure is high, above 30, the fish's air bladder, it goes down to the normal size, or it'll actually shrink a little bit. And it makes them so that they feel like they can feed. And whenever the barometric pressure is below 30, they, their air bladder tends to expand and makes them feel constipated and they don't really want to eat whenever their air bladder is expanded and so the uh, best time to fish if you pay attention to the barometric pressure is whenever it's above 30. Uh, that day it was 30.85 I, I love to fish whenever the, the barometric pressure is above about 30.5 if it's 30.7, 30.8, even if you can get on a day that is up to 31, it's going to be a good bite. Bite's going to be hot. Also, I'm not saying that whenever the barometric pressure is below 30, you're not going to catch any fish. What I mean is that it's going to take you a little bit more work. They're not going to want to eat as much. And so uh, a lot of times whenever the barometric pressure is below 30, I'll still go fishing, but I call it a pissed off bite. You just throw the lure or whatever you're using, throw it at them and throw it at them and throw it at them until they're so pissed off that they strike it. And it's not necessarily because they want to feed, it's because you've annoyed them and they just, they're pissed off. They just want you to get out of their face. And that's how I get a bite whenever the barometric pressure is below 30. I call it a grind bite or a pissed off bite because you're just grinding away trying to get them to bite. Alright, so as the barometric pressure rises, a lot of times it affects the gravity a little bit in the water. And so uh, stuff like phytoplankton and zooplankton and other sediments like insects and whatnot will settle down to the bottom, uh, causing the fish to feed more towards the bottom, so fish deeper. and. Uh, also, it causes the fish to feed more, and they call it putting on the feed bag. They just 
start to feast and stuff themselves with food and that's what we want to be able to catch them as well as affecting the gravity in the water when all the sediment and whatnot starts to settle down to the bottom it's going to cause uh, the uh, clarity of the water to be more clear and the fish will be able to see your bait better not to say that barometric pressure is the only thing that's going to affect fish there's also moon phases, weather, tide, and several other things like light penetration into the water that'll affect how the fish feed. All right, y'all, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope it was educational for you. If you would, please go down, drop a comment, hit the like button, help this video reach more people. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified of more future juicy videos you know we're trying to build a community here and educate people we want to reach as many people as we can so i appreciate you all catch you next time bye bye